How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Steel Rising. Let's play part four. Uh, last episode, we pushed into the factory over there a bit. Um, so, a couple things. Um, I went ahead and bought the uh, Avarice module, uh, which gives you 10% um, anima essence gain when slaying enemies. So that's going to be helpful in uh, you know the early game leveling up and whatnot. Um, it's not much, but it helps. Um, also, um, I'm noticing a couple issues. Um, the so yesterday the game got a, I believe, a day one patch. Um, so I saw the game getting an update. Um, so there were some frame drops and whatnot in the the demo or the beta. Jackasses. Um, frame drops in the in the beta. Uh, that I am not really seeing that too much here, but uh, if you guys noticed in the the other episode, uh, when they were ta the NPCs were talking, one of them the audio was kind of going in and out, and then the other one the audio wasn't there at all. Uh, the voice acting and. Um, I also, yeah, so that, that was the main issue that I came across originally, dude. Um, so yeah, no frame drops, um, but apparently Spiders is apparently known for that. Have a little, j uh, jankiness in their games. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, hopefully, don't get that audio issue again. Uh, we'll see what happens. The frame rate, I really don't mind. I mean, as long as it doesn't completely interfere with gameplay, I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, we'll see. See what happens. Over here, dude. Come on. Taking cover from your buddy firing over there. So yeah, we got the boss of the uh, factories coming up here. He was a little annoying. Um, he had a... Uh, again, oh, Jesus. Um, he's kind of, again, he's kind of hard to read with the, the blue aura around him. Um, and he's got some kind of long-range attacks. Um, so struggled a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, no, I actually made it that time. Um, so let's knight him over here. Okay, so we gotta go back up now. Okay, then jump it over here. Over here. Take this guy out. Come on. I will have to go around to get to the light. I think we gotta this some more essence. There's a bunch of stuff in this tower here. So it's funny, I, it's a little dark in here, I noticed um, my first run through here, 
Yeah, I noticed it come up here, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. That's all that's up here is like a healing item. And it's kind of dark in here. I did not notice the stairs going down. Um, until I watched someone else's video, and they were talking about that wheel of vengeance. I'm like, where the hell is that thing? So, somebody else was asking, too, and the guy was like, oh, I don't remember exactly where it was. It's in a tower, kind of near the factories. I'm like, oh, I bet I know where that is, but I'm like... I went up there, and I'm like, I didn't see anything. So, it's all the way down here. In the basement. Barrels, no. Oh, and also, I missed a very important chest in the beginning area right before we took the boat. If you recall in the last episode, I was saying, oh, um, they changed it, they didn't, you didn't get a item to increase your heals. Well, you did. Like a dodo, I missed the chest, so I'm <laughs> so focused on kind of rushing through this area to get uh, to get access to the regular, you know, the full, the full game that I haven't seen yet. Um, I, I just completely passed it by. So I think we get access to fast travel in a bit. So hopefully I can fast travel there off screen and go get that. That would be fantastic if I can do that. If not, um, it's pretty disappointing, honestly. Yeah, so there's a big boy down there. Let's see. 1600 Oops. Um, and it's 17 to level up so what I might do is run back actually is there anything I guess there was okay uh, I might run back quickly and Eat a, eat an essence, so I can level up and level up my alchemy, uh, so that my frost musket can be a little better at putting people in a frost state quicker. Then we'll go take on the boss. Oh Jesus, that was close. Sit there yet. Um, so we will eat one of these bad boys. Yeah, I give you 250. Yeah, you see that? See how it's 250, and then if you notice in the boutique when I showed you, they cost 300. So um, you actually get shortchanged a little bit. So, alchemy. All right. So I, I kind of cheese this guy on the initial play in the beta. Oops. Um. Don't think I'm gonna like go crazy with my grenades. Oh, you jackass! Excuse me. That's what I get for oh, I missed the jump. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> See. What happens when you run? Okay, so let's time this where he doesn't blast me in the face again. Okay, here we go. That was actually kind of funny though. Got a robot Legolas over there. Alright, 
let's let's see. Yeah, I I uh I think I'm gonna just try and use my musket to freeze this guy and then just kinda beat on him. Um gonna save my grenades. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of bosses that I will need stuff like that for later on. So let's let's go. Let's try and see if I can sneak up on him. There we go. Oh god, that didn't freeze him. <laughs> oh god. Oh shit. Damn, see he's got some long ass reach. So yeah, pretty much same strat. Um, I got 42 capsules. I mean, should be good. Starts doing this charging shit. Oof. Oh, you're done. 
Nice. Alright. That guy's a little tricky. He's got some weird... He's got some weird moves. That's why I prefer to take him out like that. Oh god. <laughs> Almost blew through all my capsules too. Oh well. Is what it is. Um... Hmm. So I may, yeah, may do that. Yeah, and then let's switch these up a little bit. So that's the efficient ventilation. Stable charging, balance. Yeah, let's put that one there. And then yeah I may um, put where is it yeah there we go just gives me a little less health but uh honestly I may upgrade that so it is what it is all right so now we go in here there is an item over here now there is a trap up there I think what you can do to kind of circumvent that If I remember correctly, is go up this way. There's an item over here. Yep. Be very quiet. Hunting weapons. some other stuff over here, I guess not. Okay. So then where we go? Yeah, that other way is kind of dicey because you go and charge for that other guy and then the second guy starts shooting at you and it's, it gets a little hairy. So that way is uh, a lot better. Really? Hit me on the back swing, what a bitch. Alright. So now we are pairing this pump here. Voila. That should work. And that allows us to utilize the elevator outside Vaucassons. Um call it his uh, workshop this is a little skinny hallway to deal with this jackass Okay, 
Um, go up here. Yeah, I thought before in the beta that was a different enemy in that skinny hallway. Mr. Roly Poly over here. See, I want the mobilization module on here, so I may have to take off Everest and just... I mean, it's only a 10% bump, so it is what it is. I'd rather have extra mobilization, honestly. A little item there. Okay, then let's loot this back around. We can level up. Since I got rid of the longevity module, I might get a little more health. Yeah. And then... I think my endurance is okay right now. Might either get engineering... Um, next time I might get engineering power or agility. Any one of those three. Okay, so let's see where are we at. So we're gonna activate this. And we're gonna get a cutscene. to come here. An automat? The Tox? Ah, mais je te reconnais. You're Vaucanson's dancer. I saw you perform in Versailles when you were first presented to the Queen. I have been sent by the Queen. Sa Majesté? Is she safe? Yes. She is at the Chateau de Saint-Cloud. It is guarded by machines. Machines? What has become of the guards? There are no longer any human guards. His own troops. He's no better than a rabid dog. I must find Monsieur de Vaucanson. He holds the secret to the tireless automats. Your creator? Well, that makes two of us. And it seems we've both arrived too late. He must have gone scurrying back to his master. I was only able to find this note written in his hand. It's nothing of any use, though. Only one thing's for certain. Wherever he went, he didn't take his horse's carriage. He left the key. You guys noticing, like, some jitter in the cutscene? That's interesting. There are machines wreaking havoc on the esplanade. So I saw, yes. And a little too closely for my liking. It's a miracle I escaped alive. Just by Les Invalides, I saw one take a volley of gunfire, halt for an instant, then carry on as if nothing happened. 
But no machine, however resilient, is indestructible. These automats must have a weakness. Some vital axle or gear that we can target. I don't suppose you would know, you who share their nature. No. Blast. That is unfortunate. I scoured the workshop hoping to shed some light on the matter. But to no avail. Uh, if only I had listened to the abbot. But perhaps there's still time. Listen to me. You must find Abbe Grégoire. He knows all about Vaucanson and his machines. Where can I find him? He took it upon himself to carry out a well-intentioned but perilous mission. If he's still alive, he'll be seeking refuge at the Société des Amis des Noirs on Place Saint-Méry, not far from Les Halles. Here, take the key to the carriage. It will no doubt be of use to you. I must attend to a matter of the utmost importance. If my officers are to be believed, the people in arms are calling for the Marquis de Lafayette as their general. And it is my duty to answer their call. Alright. There's a couple letters in here. Letters, notes, whatever you want to call them. Another one. And then did an additional little flashback cutscene down here. think there's anything else in here so I don't think we're gonna make it um, to the areas that I have not explored in this episode but we will certainly be there next time but we made it through the first two areas here pretty quickly so that's good um, so essentially what we have to do is I mean this gate over here is locked I think yeah again another area to loop around to later on can't go in I think this is where the carriage goes once you interact with it that door down there so let's go so I'm hoping once um, this gets activated I can travel back and get that that item that allows me to upgrade the amount of heals that I get, uh, I will do that off screen. I pointed out in the in the episode uh, part two uh, where I missed that, in case anyone was curious. Okay, so in here you can see uh, they were just telling you you can see correspondence and stuff like that. Um, so we have a letter in here. Um, same stuff in the boutique. Get all the starting weapons, the frosted fans and whatnot. Uh, the Pognac uh, set, which does not have any <laughs> protectiveness at all, it seems like. Um, an endurance module. You can buy module keys. Yeah, that's changed. You can't buy the uh, the weapon upgrades, upgrade materials in here, which I did not think you would be able to do. Which makes sense. Uh, you can sell items too, which is cool. Um, so yeah, let's travel. Okay. 
Okay, so I can go back to St. Cloud. I forget. Hmm. So it looks like there's two spots where we can go. Forget where we are supposed to go. But um, let's go here. Main quest, side quest. Try to pronounce that. <laughs> Nor that. <laughs> um, all right. So this is where we're going to start next episode. I am excited. Parts of the game that we have not seen yet, and this look, man, this looks really cool. I mean, there, there is that you can see there is definitely a lot of Bloodborne influences in this, and I'm loving it. I mean, Bloodborne is one of my favorites. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.